How about how, how much time do we have? Your guess is as good as mine. We still have no demands. Yes, sir. Thank you. Long week to quit smoking. Oh, Ashley. What's Hazmat say about the contaminants? Tell me we have some suspects. Search team found a passport at the raid site. Now, I ran the name and document numbers. Langley says it's a serialized fake. Whoever did up these documents had serious intelligence agency help. We got two suspects in custody. I already ran their prints through CIA Langley. This joker's downstairs in the hot room in the basement. He's big time radioactive. Doctors think he's got about 24 hours till he meets Elvis. Ah, Polish national, Kropinski, Stanislas, Pavel. Fingerprints forwarded. No fingerprint record. Uh, Stanislaw Pavel Krapinski served 24 months national service, Polish Army, trained in signal intelligence, dropped, result, academic failure, entered the U.S. March this year, no known radical political or terrorist ties, probably small fish. The other one's clean. Got them separated. German National, Heinbachel, Walter, Carl. Fingerprints forwarded. No fingerprint record. No prior criminal record held by GSG-9 to be a known associate of radical political and terrorist organizations. Uh, former asset of Syria, Intel, pattern of travel, Iraq, Syria, Libya, most part last year. Squeeze him. You might get somewhere. What do you want to do? I want to take... Heinbachel's obviously the brains of the outfit. You sure you don't want to look at his personal effects? Fine. I want to talk to Heinbach. Good. I'll tell the hot room we're on our way. There he is. Physicist under glass. Sit down. Pick up the phone. Don't make me come in there, bozo. What do you want? The hazmat team tells me you've been a busy little scientist. Don't worry, those isotopes have a relatively short half-life. The apartment should be rentable again in about 15,000 years. There's a couple ways we can play this, Doc. The hard way is going to hurt you a lot more than it hurts me. What are you going to do? Take away my birthday? Say we go in there and bounce them off the walls a little bit. Kropinski was contaminated with tritium. He's probably going to die. I've got news for you, Heimbachel. Your pal Kropinski was too radioactive to take to the hospital. Our doctors gave him less than 24 hours to live. Why should I care? Krapinski's got 24 hours to live. What makes you think you're going to live any longer than he is? I'm not contaminated. 
I can't be. Boss, what the hell are you talking about? Heimbachel's not radioactive. Heimbachel doesn't know that. Go with the flow, Dave. You might learn something. That the dose of radiation you took was sublethal, Heimbachel, but it was still bad. I need information. You need medical attention. Let's talk. Your foolish little ploy bores me. Have it your way, Doc. If I talk, you'll get me a doctor? Hey, doctor, you're wasting your own time. Just talk to the man. I only assembled the containment shells. I did not connect the fusel materials. The final assembly of the weapon was done by somebody else. Who? Who put the bomb together? His name was, um, uh, it sounded Korean. What do you want to do? I want, buckles. I want to take a look at their personal effects. Good idea. They're in the property section. Let's get over to property and look at their stuff. Right this way. Okay. Krupinski's wallet. Six dollars, 17 cents, and a library card. Heinbockles, we got Bermuda shorts, Aloha shirts. Do these come with batteries? Must be going somewhere tropical. Airline ticket. Going to Rio and first class. How delightful. Heinbockles, Heinbockle. Heinbockles either got a really sensitive side or a size six girlfriend. Heinbacher looks like he's in a hurry to get out of here. Let's go talk to him. Hein, two, two suitcases. How come there's only one airline ticket? Here's why there's only one airline ticket. Miss Lingerie here's a stewardess. She flies for free. I'll roll SWAT. We should chat with her before she flies the coop. Search team found this in the lab. Now the numbers on the document check, but the passport's phony. And I ran his face through Interpol. I might say this guy's famous. What do you mean the numbers check? It was a serialized fake. Whoever forged his passport did a world-class job. His real name is Ivan Blinko. He's a former lieutenant colonel in Russian Spetsnaz. What would the Russians have to do with planning a nuke in Los Angeles? Blinko isn't working for the Russians anymore. He came down to the wrong side of the Gorbachev coup, he split and started working freelance. CIA says he's been training units of the Iraqi Republican Guard. Heinbachel has to know something. We best pick up Miss Flight Attendant and see what her story is. Okay. You know one, what is your status? You know one, repeat, what is your status? I heard you the first time, Dave. Is the target alone?
Affirmative. Send in the hounds. Okay, let's move. FBI. Put your hands on your head. I don't think she's packing, Bob. Let's go sit on the bed. Control, this is entry team. Target is secure. Hard copy over here, boss. What is it, more lingerie? Check it out. I don't want any surprises. Open the search the room. Found this on the nightstand. Open the case. So check it out. Whatever it is, it ain't nuclear. Two ounces of linear shape charge. Damn thing was rigged to blow. Safe now. Read Gabriella her right. Search. The Examine the suitcase. It's got arming circuits, a trigger, a safety. This is a remote firing device. They could detonate this bomb from 2,000 miles away. Check. Search the room. Found this on the nightstand. Read Gabriella her rights. Mark, let us have this room. Miss Devereaux, you're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. You have the right to have an attorney present before any questioning. I don't need an attorney. Uh, what are you talking about? What did I do? Well, why don't we start with possession of a remote firing device? What are you talking about? I was just holding that case for my friend. We're going to get along much better if I ask the questions and you give me the answers. Where's the bomb? What bomb? What are you talking about? Tell me where the bomb is. Look, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just a flight attendant. Boss, why don't you take over? Because, uh... Tell me is cut the crap. What about this communique? Where did you get I didn't know what it was. I was supposed to mail it in Dallas. Hey boss. Look at what HRT found in the fridge. It's a German passport. Same picture as the passport we found at the raid site. That's my boyfriend's. Does he always keep his passport in with the mayonnaise? That's Dieter. I'm flying to Dallas tonight. I'm supposed to pick him up and take him to the airport. Answer it. Tell him you'll pick him up. Hello, Dieter? Gabriella? Gabriella, is everything okay? Yes, fine. Uh, I'm on my way to pick you up. Uh, no, no, don't, uh... There's been a change of plans. Um, I have some errands to run, so uh, be a good girl and meet me uh, at the airport in parking garage at uh, Terminal 6. Um, in three hours, okay? All right. Okay, and uh, uh, be a good girl for Dieter, would you please and bring me my briefcase? I will. Oh, and Gabby, please, 
Make sure that you do come alone. I love you. He wants me to meet him at the airport, at the parking garage at Terminal 6. He asked me to bring the briefcase. We got some time. Let's head back to the office and have Langley run that passport. Come on, Miss Devereaux. Let's get some clothes on. Where the hell did you go? Excuse me. Langley made a fingerprint from the passport we found in the refrigerator, and surprise, our friend Dr. Hammond turns out to be someone else. Your boyfriend's a real sensitive guy, honey. What are you talking about? I don't like it when people play stupid. Dear no. Hammond is an alias, Gabriella. Your friend's real name is Malenko. He told me he was a college professor. Malenko is his real name. He's an international terrorist. His real How can this be? <sighs> he left a booby trap suitcase under your bed, Gabriella. He's You're about to commit a terrorist act in this city. People are going to get hurt, Gabriella. We need your help. I'll do whatever I can. You're supposed to meet him at the airport. Are you willing to help us grab him? Of course. Agent Sawyer? Mm-hmm. Done. SWAT team says they're ready to roll. I think we better mount out if we're going to get Belinko. Gabriella, are you sure you want to do this? Yes, if it'll help. Come on, let's go. Hope this works. Airport police is covering all the exits. We've LA SWAT's got a sniper up in the tower. We put a homing device in the luggage just in case. We're good to go. It isn't. It isn't too late to change your mind, Gabriella. We can get a female agent to do this if you want. Unless Ivan sees me, he won't come forward. I have to do this. Okay, we're gonna have the place completely surrounded. All you have to do is go down the stairs, turn left. Now, if Blinko plays from the KGB script, he's gonna make sure you're alone. Then he'll come to you. All right? Okay, Gabriella, this will be a breeze. Just go down the stairs, make a left, and give Polenko the case. Downstairs, second floor. Okay. You're gonna do great. Thanks. Relax, boss. She's gonna do good. All units, this is Unit 2. Be advised, subject is approaching drop site. All units, we got a problem. Subject is deviating from the brief. She is walking away from the drop site. All units, redeploy. Don't let her out of the building. Gabriella. Oh, 
Peter, you startled me. Beauty and deceit walk hand in hand. Voltaire said that. I brought your briefcase. You set me up, Gabriella. No. I'm disappointed. Units. This is Unit 2. I need paramedic structure 6 now! And this whole thing is heading south. What do you want to do? Tell SWAT to seal the garage. We'll flush him from the inside. Here's why we had so much fun at the airport. Langley finally sent over the file on Belenko. Guy's a former light colonel in Russian Spetsnaz. We know when and we know... If you were Belenko, where would you... Unless Belenko's got an airplane. If we know when and we know why. Belenko said the exact center of the city. Where's that? It's a stadium. Dead center in the city. Palenko had Palenko's got two problems here. Palenko had the bomb is leaking radioactivity. We should be able to track it by Geiger counter. Let we put Let's take a look on the west side. Around the stadium. Alright, what else do you want to take? We have to move fast. Coordinate the detection teams and get SWAT. Okay, I'll get them mounted out. CHP's got a rented Ford Explorer abandoned in lot C. Next team says it's hot. It's Belenko's ride. It's 200 meters dead north of They're not getting enough of a reading for it to show on the surface. It's either underneath the stadium or on the ball field. Little U-234 traces of plutonium. They're getting a decent reading in the electromagnetic spectrum. It's in there and he's definitely got to turn it on. It's hot in here.
We got audio. Here we go. Got the video. We're good to go. All right, Control, I'm gonna need a little guidance here. I got two hot hallways, what do you want us to do? We keep our options open if we stay to the left. I have a reading, both ways. Okay, Control, I'm gonna need a little guidance here, Control. Get too hot always. What le left still looks good from here. I have a reading, both ways. Which one's hotter? Definitely left. Okay, Control, I'm gonna need a little guidance here. Let's keep our firepower together for now. Split up, you need to cover some ground here, boys. I'm open for suggestions. Let's, let's keep our... That's a good idea, boss. I have a reading both ways. Okay, Control, I'm gonna need a little guidance here, Control. And too hot always. Fan out. I like keeping between Balenko's best routes of escape. Stab it and steer, boss. I have a reading, both ways. Okay, Control, I'm gonna need a little guidance here, Control. Get too hot always. I can t left still looks good from here. I have a reading, both ways. This one's hotter. Definitely left. Okay, Control, I'm gonna need a little guidance here. 
I don't want to split you guys. That's a good idea, boss. Here, control. And two hot always. Okay, let's get going, you guys. You're burning daylight. We keep our options open if we stay to the left. Fan out. We need to maximize our search pattern. Man, I don't know if you read the same biography that I am, but I'm going to need all my shooters to take this Polenko guy. Just do your job. We don't have time to... What are you going to do, boss? It's the only way we'll cover this place in time. Okay, we'll play it your way. Fan out. Choice, boss. You're pretty good at this. Real funny, Dave. Next time I'll put you in the tunnels. <sighs> Might have lived longer as a guy to call it this time. Let's try and take Balenko alive. Balenko is close. I can feel it. Let's try. Alive means conscious, gentlemen. Okay, you're the boss. It's getting hot in here. So, Sly, sorry you had to miss your daughter's birthday party tonight. What are you thinking up there? Oh, I get it. You think you're not down here? Control line say we're getting close. But, uh, unit 1, what's your status? Okay, Control, I got myself a left-hand turn here, but I need some guidance. You got the ball. Let's see you run with it. Bob, link back up with Bucky and get a move on. Mike, come in. something over here. Slice. Looks like he's been hit hard. Man, he's gone. Where's Mike? What'd he do? Eat him? Jesus Christ. Control, we got a little problem here. Slice is down. Mike is missing. And our friend's got a MP5, a laser sight, and 10 magazines. You got any ideas? Shoot that bastard once for me. Watch your back, but get to that bomb, we're running out of time. What are you doing? Disable the son of a bitch! Relax, Control. I'm trying to analyze here. Fusion chamber. Crichton switches. Explosive lens assembly. Hey, I 
is like the plastic explosive and this puppy does blow. Isolate the caps. Cut the wires. Yeah, that'd be real easy to do. There's three of them. Alright, Control, what do you want to do here? Pick a wire. What are you going to do, boss? We don't have a lot of time. I can't even see the connections. Use your best judgment. I have that $100, you know me? It's a good idea, boss. Maybe not. Control, we got a little problem here. What? What kind of problem? Do I have to read your mind? All right, Control, what do you want to do here? Pick a wire. Okay, let's... It's a 50-50 chance. Hell, I don't know. Use the force, Luke. Sawyer, eat me. Look, just turn around. I wonder if she knows that I'm special agent in the month. I wonder if she knows you're married. Just because I'm married doesn't mean I'm blind. We didn't just save the world, we saved that. Southern California, what a concept. Dave and I can't come to the phone right now, but if you want to leave your name and your number, the sound of the beep, I'll get back to you as soon as I can.
boss. We can get out of here. <laughs> Sorry I am late. I got tied up with a friend who I hadn't seen in a while, so you know how that can kind of... Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm all right. What are you doing this weekend? Call me later, okay? All right. Okay, it'll be great. Okay. So, what's new? Boy, I'm sorry to hear that. I, uh... Well, you know how... Hey. How are you? Fine. Good. What have you been up to? Not much. Hey, are you, uh, are you doing anything later? Save me a seat, okay? Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they're just friends. That, you know, I, I don't think that approach would work with them, but, uh, but you know what I've discovered? That, no, no, please, please, hear me out. Uh, well, the uh, Neanderthal approach may work with some, but, uh, okay, okay, I guess I can't prove it to you, but I, I'll tell you what, uh, Jerry, mm-hmm. Jerry will take care of you. Hey, uh, I gotta get going. Let me go look at the time. Gee, uh, good luck, okay? I'll see you later.
not buying that story. So state your business or leave. I'll think about it, but here's what you have to do first. of my clients. Then, I might go out with you. They all work out together at the Iron Maiden gym. So go on. You gotta work out ahead of you, too. Good luck. I'll be waiting for you. look a little lost. The 
only thing I might do are lip curls on your big screen. You miscounted. It's only nine the way it's going for you. You're not losing out here anymore. Just watch those lines. You're doing just fine yourself. You're making the sale. Service with a smile until you came up with that bad line. I like all this interest in me again, but I can't tell you. I often fantasize about that with a heroic guy like you. There's so much more to know, but I think you'll get there. That's an interesting approach. This is the good life, listening to a man who knows me well. I like to take my time too, and I really like specifics. I think I'd be more afraid of his attorney. He loves money. It's been a dream, all right, but it's over. Try me again. Hello down there. Yoo -hoo. Just making sure your kid brother didn't get a hold of the control. You look a little lost.
help me. Help me, please, somebody. Can anyone hear me? Do you believe in magic? Is magic only an illusion created by a stage magician? Well, there's an old saying, seeing is believing. Terry believed in magic, but her older brother Alex didn't. She loved visiting her great uncle Josh because he lived right across the street from Orpheus Palace, one of the last great vaudeville theaters. Okay, you got me to come over here with you. Now what? We try to get inside, dummy. Are you crazy? It's almost eight o'clock. Uncle Josh will be back from his meeting in an hour. He'll freak if we're gone. Well, I'm not a freak. What do you mean? I'm not afraid either. It's just I'm that... going. Are you coming or not? Wait. Terry! I can't believe I let you talk me into this. Uncle Josh said they closed this place down before World War II. There's no one here. It's been deserted for years. So no one will mind if we go in? Look up there. A light. You see anything? Alex! There's... There's a lady with no head. Wait a minute. Who's this guy? I'm not sure. A, some kind of Houdini-like magician. I've read about this. They fill the tank with water, and he has to escape before his breath gives out. So if Orphea was so great, why'd they close down the theater? Nobody really knows. Uncle Josh said that some sort of tragedy happened a long time ago, and now the place is haunted. Oh, give me a break. Try this one. <sighs> nope, it's locked. Come on, Terry. We can't get inside. Let's just forget it and go home. No way. I wish I could get in. That door just opened, didn't it, Alex? Yeah. Wait. What's the matter? Scared. I dare you to follow me. Hello? Is there anyone here? Come on, let's leave. There's nobody around. Alex, I'm not giving up so fast. Let's keep looking. <laughs> Excellent. Great start. A headless ghost, yes! So what happens next? Do they meet Orpheo? That's going to be up to our storyteller. That's you. I want everybody to meet someone who wants to join us. <laughs> Welcome to the Midnight Society. Since you're here, you already know how we get together in this secret spot to share our strange and scary tales. The scarier, the better. Tell them what they got to do to join. I'm getting there. The price of admission is a tale of terror. Now, I've already set up a story for you, but you've got to finish it. Yeah. We have to see if you have what it takes. You have to make decisions and solve problems. And make sure your characters don't get caught. The main thing is to guide your story to its best ending. You might want to take notes as you go along, so you don't forget stuff. You ready? You better be. You have to begin where I left off. It's your story now. Good luck. Submitted for the approval of the Midnight Society. I call this story the tale of Orpheo's curse. Alex, the door's locked. Hey! Terry, it's it's made of wax. Welcome to my palace.
Are you? Are you Orfeo? Indeed. No way. You'd be over a hundred years old. <laughs> but you see, I have the powers of magic on my side. I have the ability to um, age gracefully. Yeah, right. <laughs> a non-believer! I adore a skeptical audience. You are in luck, dear ones. I need two volunteers to act as my assistants in tonight's midnight performance, and you two will be just perfect. Come this way. Wait a minute. The door is locked. We want out. Now. You want to miss my performance? Very well. I will show you another way out. That door tends to stick sometimes. But please, perhaps you will reconsider leaving once I demonstrate what I can do. I assure you, you will be amazed. Watch this. Welcome to the Museum of Nature's Oddities, where seeing is believing. Collecting the unusual has always been a hobby of mine. How did you do that? Hey, wait a minute. Where's my brother? Sometimes these tricks don't always work the way we expect them to. <laughs> Please, amuse yourself in my little curio room. I will return once I've found Alex. <laughs> Hey, how did he know Alex's name? Wait a minute. I'm all alone. Come back here! Fountain of Youth. Maybe this is how Orfeo stays so young looking. I wonder what would happen if I tried it. I don't feel any younger. Tapeworm. Removed from human. Measuring 8 feet 10 inches? I hate spiders. see the outside world again. You are trapped here forever, and you will perish like all the others before you. <laughs> Alex. Alex. I can't believe I got us into this. You must escape before Orfeo returns. Be out of the building before midnight. Don't let him perform the trick with the teleportation boxes tonight. Otherwise, you too will become a victim of Orfeo's curse. There's only one way out of the room. You'll need eyes in the back of your head to find it. Who was that? What did she mean?
I don't see any difference. Now where am I? It looks like the wax museum. This is weird. I better find Alex so we can find a way out of here. Beware the stroke of midnight. Beware Orpheo's curse. Wow, a guillotine! museum, are you? I wish I knew what happened to Alex. Teleportation trick, and you and your brother will be the stars! And now, for my next illusion, I present you the famous teleportation boxes. Hold your applause, please. I am very pleased to introduce to you my new assistants. Ms. Terry and Master Alex, come out and take a bow. Hear that wonderful applause, children. It's all for you. <laughs> the stroke of midnight, ladies and gentlemen. Prepare yourselves. Where will the subjects go? Will they be teleported safely from one box to another, or will they go to a horrible, eternal limbo? That's it? You're not going to end the story like that, are you? That wasn't much of a story. Come on, give him a break. If I were Terry, I'd find a place to hide. Unless there was somebody around that could help me. That's not a bad idea. Maybe there's a creature in that wax museum that could help. Why don't you try again? What do you want to do? Go back to the wax museum? The Museum of Nature's Oddities? Or the very beginning? Now where am I? It looks like the wax museum. This is weird. I better find Alex so we can find a way out of here. Wonder what it says. Eyes? are a key, so use them to find your way. An eye's color does not matter, even if one is blue and one is green. What did that mean? I wonder if the telescope works. I wonder if the telescope works. Never break the curse. If I can't do it, no one can. Mm. 
Sherlock Holmes, solver of a multitude of mysteries. I doubt he can solve this mystery. Wow, this is so cool. Who's the greatest magician that ever lived? Houdini could make Orville look like a sideshow. Whew. I'm sorry. Oh, wow, that is awesome. No assistant, no assistant. they dip the cauldron into the wax so they can pour it into molds. They make the wax dummies with this stuff. I see. <laughs> hey, that looks like. Oh no! Those look like molds of me and Alex. Look at those eyes. Hey, I wonder, could this be what Merlin's book was talking about? I've watched you practice your magic tricks, and I've made my decision. Elizabeth, you're going to be my assistant. Oh, thank you, Father. You've always loved her more than me. Mary, darling, that's not true. I judged you solely on your performance. You were a bit clumsy with the sleight of hand. You were lazy, my darling. Perhaps if you work at it some more. Well, Daddy, when I'm done with you, you'll wish you never chose Elizabeth to be your assistant. You'll wish you never even took up magic in the first place. Flictus Coranga. I command that tricks will never work on the stage of this theater again. Waxo Commander. I wish that my father become an exhibit of his famous wax museum. Starfa Theatrico. And I command that I shall become the star of the theater. You know... I think I'm beginning to understand what's going on here.
fear will catch you, and then you will be mine! <laughs> mine! Alex! You and your brother will never escape. There is no way out of Orfeo's palace. I need you to be my assistants tonight. And you will be. Rasputin. Enchanter of the Tsars. Send my Neanderthal man after you. He's such a good hunter. Come on, open! Orpheus Museum of Nature's Oddities. Seeing is believing. Enough. Go back to rest, my primitive friend. We'll play cat and mouse with the girl again later. This must be the theater office. Found anything interesting? Since you're so keen on snooping... I'll just have to make sure you stay put here. I need you and your brother in tonight's performance. That creep! Looks like this coat fell off the coat hook. No way! A secret door! Maybe I can get out of here! Hmm. Last performance was a long time ago. Orfeo, after what happened to Elizabeth and Aldo, None of the other performers are willing to be your assistants at the performance. I suppose I'll do the guillotine trick tonight, but I want an extra $100 this week. Plus, I need proof that it will not go wrong. I'm sure you'll understand. Felicia. Terry! Terry, where are you? I'm in the level below the basement. You gotta hurry because... I might have known. No way. The bathrooms are probably in here. <laughs> 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 
locked. Help me. Oh, it's dark in here. I'm so lonely. Father? Oh, where are you? It's me, Elizabeth. Wow. This place looks condemned. needs to be oiled. I don't believe it. It's made of wax. They're all made of wax. is on this level. We'll take a Midas touch to find him. I don't think so. Do not open until Halloween. Why don't you open wardrobe number five? Orpheo! Do not open. Ever. Hmm. Do not open until winter. Where is Alex? Where's your brother? Find him quick. You've got no other. If I were you, I'd search this floor. The Magic Workshop, Golden Door. Do not open until Monster Day. Uh-huh. Let me out! Let me out! 
you were warned, my dear. <laughs> trick if you ask me. Hey, that wardrobe had a big fat warning on it. Okay, so Terry made a mistake. It can happen to anyone. So what's the lesson this time? Don't ignore warnings. What do you want to do? Go back to the costume shop, the scene shop, the theater lobby, or the very beginning? 